Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video review. DIY digital art. Last week we did with you video review that was uh, three, four, three, big one I think, diamond paintings, yes, three. It was uh, two abstract pictures and one with the native girl and wolves and I think it's eagles part up there. And today we have a little bit product in here for kind of everybody because we have two cross stitch. We have probably diamond painting and some accessories if you like to do. If you like to do, well, this could be good for resin. I think that that is belong to resin or you can do this for your nails you can do this for any craft so let's see what this is I did review before similar product that have like a different kind of sequence and I wanted to see this other pack what it's contained because this kind of stuff that I like to do Sometimes you can put them like on your nail. Let me zoom a little bit more close so we can see better. Uh, and for the resin part, I think it would be beautiful. So we have a tweezers with this little kit. We have, is this supposed to be stickers or this is real, no, it looks like a real flowers, but this is all sealed. Ah. So that's how they dry. Is this really? Let me see. I have to open to check it out. Feels like it's a dry flowers that you can use for the resin part. Oh yes it is. Okay. See, I'm not going to pull them out then, but maybe just the one. They kind of packed so nicely. Oh, you can see that it's coming out. See? flowers it's really reflecting uh, looks like could be lavender maybe this one or even some different flowers so oh okay I already lost one so that would be good my friends right now when it's a summer time it's the best time to dry some flowers this is obviously hydrangea and I did before flowers dry with hydrangea but you know what this kind of remind me that I should do right now more because my hydrangea right now dry um, sorry my hydrangea right now blooms in nice pretty pink colors some have a shading of kind of like a purplish blue but not too many yet most of them right now it's pink and I definitely need to create more dry flowers for my future project of resin and Oh, it's a three colors in here. I love this flake so much. I always love them. And I have actually lots of my, in my stash. Um, I think I have like a big jar of this white translucent kind of. This one is beautiful and they look so good in resin. You can put those flakes in your nails and just a clear coat on the top. And any solid color of nail polish, you can put a few of these flakes. And if you use dark nail polish, for example, let's say black or dark, dark red, dark blue, these flakes will create different shading on a top of dark uh, nail polish. So really, really love this stuff. And they look amazing in resin. And this one is purple shades, kind of like a flashes from pink to blue and purple. But this one is like a baby purple. I mean baby blue um, wow this one is so pretty so yes I have a big jug of resin and I want to start some magic to do because it's the time it's the time to do some stuff and definitely after video I should go and pick up some flowers and dry them over summertime even go in a field and pick some wild flowers and dry them in a if you have like an old book, let's say I'm using a huge, huge dictionary. It's like thick, thick book of dictionary. And obviously nobody gonna use it for any other purpose anymore. It's an old book. And I'm using 
that book to dry my flowers because it's so heavy so if I put like on the bottom pages and put all the book on the top of it it will make it flat in no no time so that's a good way to dry I used to dry in the magazines or between newspapers in a paper is better it's take away the juice from the flowers and dry them quicker kind of Okay, we have also in here, I think this is one diamond painting. And then we will start with the cross stitch. Okay, this is something I need to cut a little differently. Okay, let me cut from this side. Because there's a glue up there. So this, why is it so difficult with this? Okay, this canvas. All right, this is mandala. Seems like it. Eh? Seems like a mandala. Very colorful one. Happy color. And they also have tons and tons of different, different designs. Okay, we have to put something to make a flat. All my sparkle uh, canvases with the special shape diamonds or crystal diamonds I keep them in one of those big envelopes you know that uh, 30 pages that you can put 60 diamond painting in one uh, DIY Digital Art have them uh, well lots of stores have them so check it out I love to collect this kind of project between those you know sleeves those pages keep them flat ready to go because see like right now if I want to work it's scrolling up I have to put something heavy or keep it like this over the night but if I put in that book with the time all these pages get nice and flat and that's it and I just want to see what this is on my canvas oh it feels like a piece of dirt somehow got in here <coughs> but I will clean it later on with something with some eraser yeah look at this how um, beautiful this canvas is with uh, so many this, uh, glitter sparks very nice and the canvas itself has a good layer of glue colors and it's a 30 by 30 centimeters we have sparkle gems we have a toolkit regular toolkit and gems let's see the gems looks good I think with all the diamond painting that right now people create and they more and more like this special sparkle gems I think the company start to make a so much better quality of the rhinestones before it was really bad when we started to create this kind of gems they would be like half of the package nice and sparkle half of the package look all very foily and not sparkle now they do a good job so we have some special shapes oh no those diamonds looks good in here so far what I can see through the bag looking good to me I have to say I don't see any garbage flying up there see it look, looks real oh this color is so rich yeah definitely this one is nice, I recommend for you to get it. That's pretty clear. And look at this, we have in here AB Pearls. That's a pretty purple color. Looks almost like blue on camera, but this is purple. 
Then we have different shape. And white purples. Here. Diamonds looks wonderful, my friends. So definitely I can say yes, I can recommend this because it looks good. And now for those who like to have cross stitch, look what I have. This one would be so awesome to work like before Halloween. You can pick by the sequence. <clears throat> you can do cross country like I do usually uh, the image called Halloween and this is 11 count Ada 41 by 41 centimeters so today we have both canvases in 11 count usually I always pick the most canvases it's 14 count but of course lots of you cannot do 14 count anymore but we still want to have fun and yes, I agree, 14 count is a little bit more difficult. It's good when you have a <clears throat> young eyes and you see canvas symbols very well. But with age, our eyes get a little bit tired. <laughs> so we need 11 count, Ada, right? That one easy to stitch. So I hope you will appreciate this and hopefully we'll get it and maybe before Halloween we could stitch this together I think this design is very pretty I'm not very like um, attractive to Halloween um, because I did not grow up with this kind of holiday just when I came to Canada I started to learn about Halloween and uh, to me this was like no really Halloween especially I cannot stand like a scary like a skeleton so all that stuff but this one I would say it's cute it's only like a little skeleton in here and a bottle that is a potion so that's okay but after all this image is happy image we have an owl we have a cat and his hat which is one big design for him oh look at the eyeball <laughs> and a spider then we have a whoo spooky ghost and of course there is no Halloween with spooky house and uh, which leg her famous boots which is very fancy look at this eyeball bat that's kind of funny oh boy who spilled the potion soup or something magic what it says uh, hubble bubble okay that's cute hubble hubble bubble yeah Hubble bubble and of course there is a no Halloween without scary pumpkins, right? There you go. So I think this one cross stitch is really cute and because it's 11 count Ada I can take this with me to even campground and to this design up there Because at home I would probably use magnifier that would be 14 count Ooh, Lots of backstitch of course lots of backstitch we knew that, especially for the words. Oh no, actually, the actual words have all bubbles. You don't have to um, do backstitching, but the Halloween word stitch in backstitch, you can see that. And like a characters, all those uh, webs. Yes, without backstitch, this design, this kind of samplers will be look bad. <coughs> so backstitch did play a very big role in this kind of designs and of course halloween colors beautiful those purple and oranges looks gorgeous so i think this will be very pretty and you know what this threads feel so soft and kind of silky this is very very good threads yes looks very nice and soft there and more purple in here a little bit of green oh no actually quite a bit of green one in here two in here two three four yeah four this kind of more like to the bluish but still kind of shade could be too green family as well well lovely two needles in here and of course in here if you don't know you have your 
color of the thread that will be probably in the pattern on your canvas DMC code and how many strands you will be need to complete this design <clears throat> well, that's that's create so much bigger sample if you remember the sample that I created for for um, Christmas time it was like when it's done it was small one but because the other one was in 14 count so this one definitely create good size picture if you like can see it towards my hands it's a good chunk of picture which for Halloween I think the bigger the better because you want to see all those characters and this is definitely a Halloweenish project for sure canvas is really stiff I have to say so when you work in one stitch at a time it will create perfect stitches and you don't really need even frame in here you can roll it and work in your hands there my friend this is one of them and did I mention how many no I did not say how many colors we have in here right the back stitch and distract me so we have 20 colors in regular cross stitch and then we have back stitch in four colors will be very colorful design for sure all right already see like nice and pre-stitch overload that's the size of finished design of stitches and very nice and crisp print lovely lovely so this is the halloween and my other cross stitch that i only left one project for today this is just a pretty i call pretty or gorgeous work can be as well uh, very softer much softer canvas see this is very nice canvas and it's the same kind of um, because same kind of palette so it's same kind of threads and threads feels feels good feels good let me show you design first here's design i have a huge love for the puppy flowers huge and this design is very elegant very simple and beautiful at the same time um we have in here so the name flower 7 11 count as well 47 by 44 centimeters and let's find out if we have i think it's going to be only full stitches no i don't see any back stitch okay but we do have a half stitch in here so it's even faster to stitch so the background that you see the gray shadowy area that's going to be a half stitch uh, full stitch we have 32 colors and a half stitch in two colors that's it and let's check it out I love this canvas softness actually this one will be perfect for those two squares um, you know the frame that I have sometimes you can buy a frame <clears throat> and DIY digital art uh, in a tool section of cross stitch I believe they have those frames square one big one or you can buy those rectangle shape that the two bars are big and two of them maybe like 20 centimeters short so when you buy two of them you can mix and match and get the four um, longer sides and create one on this side one longer and this one you have a big square frame and that's the one i'm using for my european town uh, the, the big frame so this one also can go probably in a big frame that's pretty all this green color and red color that you see that's the half stitch half stitch in here in this kind of symbol double squares very nice and soft canvas colors in here of course just gorgeous also have two needles and there is your colors lots of green lots of green because uh, gonna be nice greenery look at that shades of red would be nice 
yeah very nice very nice love it love it love it um, now compared to this one or <clears throat> this one just to show you see the difference on the sharpness of the design like but th even this uh, in a pastel color sprint you still can see every symbol very well very well so no problem at all I really I'm not going to put this far away because I would love to stitch before Halloween so I will have to keep this aside maybe even I will start soon I don't know because I don't think I have any Halloween uh, in my whips of cross stitch <clears throat> I do have a poppy flowers that I still didn't finish my 11 count oh this one I would definitely start if I would uh, wouldn't have my other one so I have to finish other poppy flowers and then I could do this one so this is very pretty if you look on the flowers itself look at the shade and I think it looks very beautiful of course with backstage the flowers will be create more visual 3d petals of the flowers and leaves but this is just the design of the art to have this in soft colors there is no sharp edges everything blend in nicely and I like the background in here of course this is partial because look at the big chunk you don't have to stitch all those white pieces in here that you don't have to stitch check it out my other playlist of cross stitch there is a um, good tutorials up there for beginners um, if you never stitched before you definitely I would say I recommend for you to try at least once but pick <coughs> printed canvas if you never stitch and you purchase a counted cross stitch you might find that this is difficult for you and you're not gonna like a cross stitch anymore but if you start from the printed canvas you might gradually will love to do counted as well because counted there is like a special um, trigger to see have the image actually coming out on your Mm, canvas from white blank canvas and every details is coming out on your canvas it's also fun to kind of see that instead of in here you already see your design where it's going to be but counted you have to count every stitch and not to make any mistakes so this is easy way to start especially canvas like this <clears throat> my friends I'm losing my voice <laughs> especially canvas like this there is no backstitch or French knots or any other force of the stitch so this is easy to create so I hope you like this video today please let me know which design you like today and of course the mandala it's very beautiful design to work on you have a lovely day everybody I love you all remember that L love yourself look in the mirror and tell yourself that you are beautiful and I wish you a good day and see you next time.